Hello, I'm Becca Bailey, the Deaf Specialist at the Arizona Commission for the Deaf and the Hard of Hearing, ACDHH. Here with me today I have... Hello, I'm Al Kuthin from Peoria, Arizona. ACDHH wants to invite you to join us in celebration of culture during the month of February. February celebrates Black Deaf History Month. The Black Deaf community has contributed greatly to society, and we celebrate notable individuals and organizations. NBDA is the National Black Deaf Advocates organization, which focuses on Black Deaf people providing advocacy, education, and job opportunities. I'll give you two examples of notable individuals. The first is Dr. Andrew Foster, the first black deaf graduate at Gallaudet University who established more than 30 deaf schools in Africa. He was a wonderful person. The second is Dr. Glenn Anderson. He was the first black deaf chair on Gallaudet University's board of trustees and served for many years. He is now a professor in Arkansas and is a very prominent person as well as an advocate. It's very important for us to recognize these individuals and organizations. Please join the Black Deaf community and ACDHH as we celebrate Black Deaf History Month in February. We are happy to have Al here with us today. Al, can you share with us what's going to be happening in February of 2016? Please save two important dates, February 12th and 13th, 2016. On Friday, February 12th, 2016, the fifth annual African American Symposium on Disabilities will have a keynote speaker, Talila Lewis from HERD, or Helping Educate to Advance the Rights of the Deaf in Washington, D.C. She gave an excellent presentation at the NBDA conference this past summer, and we are very fortunate to have her come to Arizona. Again, the conference is on Friday, February 12th. On Saturday, February 13th, 2016, Talila Lewis will present to the Black Deaf and Deaf community in the morning in the afternoon, Tim Albert, the NBDA president, and myself, Al Kuthin from Arizona, will co-present. I am really looking forward to both events. I'm certainly looking forward to those all-day events as well. For more information and updates on both events, please check the ACDHH website, weekly e-news, and our Facebook page. We hope to see you in February.